In this question, we have been asked to identify the appliance that is shown in the image. So what we see here is that there is a wire component which consists of two loops, okay, one in the posterior, one in the anterior, and there is a coil, okay. Now this is a type of a fixed functional appliance. So you can identify that from the image as well as the options that are mentioned here. That is Mara, Power Scope, Advancing, Churu Jumper. These are all types of fixed functional appliances which are given to advance the mandible. Okay, now these kind of questions are very important image based questions. So they can ask you any of these options or they can ask you any of the fixed functional appliances an image based question and you will have to identify it. So what is important is it's always going to be some kind of an appliance that is uh, that consists of either a coil or a rigid uh, structure like a herbs appliance that is somehow going to keep the mandible in a forwarded position. Okay. Now this appliance that is given in this image is a churro jumper. So how do we identify it is because of this characteristic loops which are given in the anterior and posterior direction as well as this coil which is given in the center. So the churro jumper was actually developed as an improvement of the mandibular protraction appliance. So this is the MPA or the mandibular protraction appliance that was given by Coelho. Okay, so he developed this appliance in Brazil because most of the advanced fixed functional appliances were not available. So they used a uh, regular chair side or lab side materials in order to construct a uh, fixed functional appliance or a mandibular protraction appliance. So the churro jumper is basically a modification of this appliance and it's a very simple, effective, inexpensive. So this again is something that can be constructed chair side. So a very inexpensive and uh, cost effective method of uh, developing a fixed functional appliance, something that's going to keep the mandible in the forwarded position. So here you have a mesial and distal uh, ends, right? I mentioned the two coils which are present in the mesial and in the distal. So this is the mesial, this is the distal. Okay, these are the jumper circles. So it's a churro jumper. So basically something that is going to jump the bite. Okay. So these are known as the jumpers. The distal end, this part is connected to the molars by a pin. So a pin is going to be put, uh, passed through this onto the molar uh, tube. Okay, so the molar will have an accessory headgear uh, slot. So in that slot, this uh, loop will be held along with a pin. Okay, and the mesial part that is present here, it is going to go into the mandibular arch wire and it is going to be distal to the canine. So the canine will be here, mandibular canine, and this will be distal to the mandibular canine. So this is, a, like I said, very cost effective and easy because it can be made in the lab. It can be made chair side. So the cost is low. That is the advantage of a churro jumper. Now, like I told you that the other appliances can also be asked as image based question. So it is a good idea to know what these appliances look like. Okay. So here what we see is the Mara appliance. Okay. Or the uh, mandibular advancement, a uh, mandibular anterior repositioning appliance. Okay. Mara stands for mandibular anterior repositioning appliance. So this is how it looks. It's a modification of the herbs appliance which is a rigid fixed functional appliance. So instead of uh, being bulky like a herbs appliance, this is a modification where they have reduced or eliminated the bulk of the appliance. Okay, So here it is only from molar to molar and there are these cams which are present Okay, and there is a arm. So this arm is going to keep the mandible in a protracted position or it's not going to allow the bite or the patient to close. Uh, against this arm okay so this is the mara so when you see this molar to molar and this characteristic u-shaped appearance of the appliance okay this is a mara appliance now this appliance here this is a power scope okay this is a power scope and this is an advancing so this is an advancing appliance and both of these appliance you can see they are uh, basically they look something like a forces appliance the advancing is also a molar to molar appliance so the advantage of this is that it has a reduced bulk and it's more comfortable for the patient okay 
so you can do a uh, fixed uh, you can do uh, orthodontic therapy along with mandibular protraction in this case because it is only on the molars it does not have to extend up to the anterior arch where the whereas in a power scope it is going to be ahead it's uh, present over the arches so this has easy assembly because it is not going to the molar tube right you don't need that headgear slot this goes and attaches directly onto the arch wire in both the upper and lower so the assembly of such an appliance is easier so these are some of the more commonly uh, asked questions from this topic of fixed functional appliance uh, and you should know what each of these look like.